Here comes big Bronson Reed. The following contest is scheduled for one thaw. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia. Weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed! The kaiju of WWE, Big Bronson Reed. He has been on an absolute tear as of late. We've seen him beat some big names, compete in some major matches. I think it's just a matter of time before Bronson really hits it big. Gentlemen, Big Bronson Reed is ready to claw through the competition. And I don't think anyone can stop him. Eric has arrived, and the raid is on. The personification of rugged domination. Representing the Viking Raiders from Valhalla, weighing in at 247 pounds, Eric. Eric has been looking for a fight, and he's about to start a big one. ready to do some pillaging in the ring. And when a Viking wins in war, they burn the entire battlefield to the ground. Eric looking to continue on his war path here tonight. Certainly not a man who minces words. He lets his ability in the ring do all the talking that needs to be done. Yeah, Corey. And we'll see how much is said here tonight. But he's got trouble on his hands in the form of Bronson Reed. This big man climbs into the ring with a simple objective in mind, to inflict as much damage as humanly possible. And with his 330-pound frame and jaw-dropping power, inflicting damage is pretty easy for big Bronson Reed. You said it. We've seen Reed run roughshod over the toughest competition. He doesn't care who you are or how strong you are. Bronson Reed is going to tear you apart. Oh, man. Absolutely spiked DDT. And Reed didn't find a defense for that attack. Staggering ferocity behind that attack from Eric. Three. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And now the pace of this match being set by Eric. Everything is going in Eric's favor right now. Thrown back in under the ropes. Ooh. He's got him down. Is this it? He's on the ropes. The official sees it and waves off the pin. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Launch face first. And that gets reversed on Reed. Snap you in half. Striking with an A. What's Eric thinking here? From the top. Big elbow drop. Cover. Just barely, but it counts. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Granted, Eric is a true powerhouse in the ring, but how can the Viking ensure victory here in this match? Eric might look like a superstar who just charges blindly into battle, but he's actually got a good head on his shoulders. He's been competing since the early 2000s, so you better believe he's prepared for this fight. Belly to back suplex. No! Belly to back penalty kick by Eric. This is troublesome. Makes a read. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And... Absolutely exhausted. Put everything he had into the match here tonight. And oh, uh, look who's here. I wonder what this man wants. You can feel the tensions rising. Oh, 
great. You know, I have something I need to say about. Shh. It's Chelsea. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Chelsea Green! You know, I actually heard that Chelsea Green is the kind of person that'll order a huge salad, eat the whole thing, and then complain to the manager that something was wrong with it. Um, that's not out of the ordinary. It's like wrestling a great match and then learning afterwards that you, Byron, did commentary on it. <sighs> Chelsea's ready to make a hot mess out of the competition tonight. It's Miss Money in the bank. And from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan Knox. Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. A woman meant for the highlight reel. She plans on even more excitement tonight. Anna, let's just say confident Chelsea Green is ready for action here tonight. For as talented as Chelsea is in the ring, she often lets her mouth write checks her body can't quite cash. But if she can focus and push her ego aside for just a little while, I feel like she can do some serious damage in this one. You're absolutely right, Byron. You can't judge a book by its cover with Chelsea Green, even if she makes it really hard not to. And she's going to have her hands full taking on Tegan Knox. Tegan is scratched and clawed to reach this point. Nothing's going to stop her now. She's determined to make sure she reaches the top so anyone standing in her way should watch out. Great way to break down your opponent. Counters! Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Knife edge chop! Oh, direct impact to the chest. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Kick to the gut. Ranked around into a neck breaker. Ooh, what a forearm club. You know, Cole, Tegan Knox is a well-liked superstar backstage, but don't let that fool you. She can get just as gritty and dangerous as the next superstar. Knox's kindness outside the ring and sportsmanship inside the ring has sometimes given her opponents a false sense of security. You can never let your guard down with a competitor like her. And Chelsea Green's focus being tested there. The competitor in Tegan is coming through here. for that. <laughs> nice Japanese arm drag. Oh. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. and there's still a lot of game left here. And that definitely made solid impact. Finds the room to land a back elbow. Kick gets caught. Oh, elbow to the knee. Hello, hyperextend your leg. Get back. 
back here. Leg Lariat. She's showing signs of slowing now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Insulting. Chelsea must be phased after this string of action. Green has to find a way to right the ship here. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? Up high, cross body. Choke slam. Here's a cover. Stopping the ref's counting two. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Just a relentless assault from Knox. Tegan did say she was going to be unrelenting in this matchup. Chelsea's out of it. Completely in peril. Tegan Knox with a kick to the body. And Sonius with her. That could end Chelsea's night. after this win. Deegan Knox refuses to be complacent, refuses to settle, and we just saw proof of that. Everyone show some reverence for Imperium. One of the most disciplined groups WWE has ever seen. Looking ready to dish out some punishment. The following contest is a tour Combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperium! Well, Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the mat sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. Look at that formation. Completely in sync like a finely tuned watch. DIY has arrived. One of the most beloved teams in WWE. And their opponents at a combined weight of 400 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. DIY. Ciampa, Gargano, two men who went to war in NXT and came out the other side as an even stronger team. They've made a it together and against each other, and it's brought them as close as a team can be. Now we're about to see a new chapter in their history tonight.
Something I do appreciate about Imperium is that their goal is clear. They're simply here to defend the honor of the ring and dominate the competition. It really is that simple. These are men joined by a shared purpose. They're disciplined, shrewd, and will do what it takes to accomplish what they set out to do. Unfortunately for their opponents, what they set out to do is pull the competition apart limb from limb and leave them battered and broken in the ring. But they have a tall task ahead of them. Two men who will never stop fighting, Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. In more ways than one, Corey, if they can keep from fighting each other, they'll be unstoppable together. Neck break! Nicely done. Off into the pin. Still in it. Boom! Good night. What a knee. Vicious right forearm. And the forearm smash. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Expert training helped Kaiser land that attack. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Face first. Uh, good buster. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's taking this to the floor now. This one is headed outside, guys. Getting back into the ring. Oh! Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. You have to admit, that was a smart bit of offense, cutting their opponent down to size like that. Sure, clothesline! said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Look at this. Snap suplex. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Short clothesline hits its mark. Flipping senton. Oh, close line. Oh, foot just stomping down. The black card with a counter. Oh, look at the knees. Burying knees into the body. Every strike more devastating than the last. That was nasty. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. There's some power behind that punch. Well, that'll do some serious damage. There it is. This could be it. Cover. Getting the shoulder up before two. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Oh, God. Look at this. Snap suplex. DDT! Spiked him. Tommaso Ciampa hooking the arm for a very tail ending. Ciampa putting the finishing touch on this one. Two! And they're still in this! I would have bet this was one right after that last hit. Goes to show you just never know what your opponent's capable of. Ciampa threw almost everything he could at this, but it could not close it out. What next? Continuing to dissect the leg of his opponent. And an elbow. Johnny Gargano looks like he's really struggling under this pressure. Oh, he's as good as finished. Yeah, this is not good. What a tank down the... Oh, there it is. In trouble here. Ah, uh, chin lock back to his feet now. And an elbow going to create some separation. Oh, I hope this decision doesn't come back to haunt him in the future. Oh, what a haymaker. Bam! Down he goes. Bash straight into the post on the outside. Guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Had that one scouted. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. 
Look at this. Face full of turnbuckle. Big time move. Count up. Ooh. Oh, man. Uh-oh. This isn't going to end well for someone. Going up top. through their paces in this tornado tag match. One of the most dominant forces the women's division has ever seen, Rhea Ripley. The Eradicator is here. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley! A pile of championship title wins, a Royal Rumble winner, Rhea Ripley is a 100% proven threat. No questioning that. You talk about nightmare opponents. Rhea Ripley is the living embodiment of that concept. It takes a lot of courage to step inside the ring with her. Courage or foolishness. Dealing with a competitor on Ripley's level is a challenge that most superstars just aren't up to. Period. She's that strong, that smart, and that deadly. Ripley seems more than happy to get things started. A woman who calls herself undeniable. She certainly lived up to that moniker thus far. You know, Stark has had plenty of championship gold in NXT, but did not miss a step when joining the main roster and continuing her dominance on the biggest stages. And that's because Zoe has the attitude you need to be a success in WWE. I'm looking at her right now, and I'm watching her body language, and her intimidation factor has got to be off the charts knowing she's facing Rhea Ripley. Her intimidation factor is zero. Rhea Ripley has truly become the walking embodiment of brutality. She displays the viciousness that's just a goes into the pin. She kicks out at one. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Press, press. Oh. 
Yes, yeah. press! Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. And into the count. Kicks out at just one. She shows that she's far from finished. Whoa! The height on the moonsault. That extra rotation creates so much more force than a standard splash. When it, oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Trouble! It, Able to shift her weight and escapes. Looking for more damage here. Power release back suplex. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person to make a statement. And a slap, too. Just going all out with every blow. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Kick to the back. Boom, right across the small of the back. with precision and Stark hung tough but that looked like it took a toll Ripley's not playing nice right now this is that take no prisoners attitude we talked about earlier oh an electric chair face buster Ripley attacking with purpose looking to bulldoze the competition great risk for the win Been it yeah. lands the cross body take down devastating clothesline delivered by Rhea Ripley make it twice and now maneuvers her opponent Pow! drop kick and now she's looking to go top rope from the top she misses the mark. No. Scooped up and down. Oof. She is not abused in the slightest. Impressive reversal there. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Break the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Oof, that'll leave a mark. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a free fall. Uh-oh, this is not Watch your face. In third in Alabama slam. And Ripley just adding another name to her long list of victims. She is looking unstoppable. Put Here comes the A-lister. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! How can you not be inspired by The Miz's ability to overcome people's petty jealousy? What a moneymaker. You know what I think? I think The Miz should be studied by astrologists. The guy thinks the Earth revolves around him. Well, I and many others happen to believe the spotlight should stay on Miz for the rest of his WWE career.
the voice of the voiceless has returned. Sent a message when he said, quote, I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make money. He's facing fierce competition nowadays. Well, listen, Punk's famous for not playing well with others. There are many men who have shaken his hand who now want to be the one who topples the best in the world. Well, they've got to be ready for this brand new version of CM Punk. Already at his peak, but primed and ready to reach new heights. Punk's return was an amazing moment, but now he must capitalize. Yeah, easier said than done because the competition is now at an all-time high. Is being the best in the world still good enough? The Miz set for competition here tonight, but we never really know which version of The Miz we're going to see in action. Will it be the ruthless champion caliber superstar, or will we see cowardice win out? Cole, what you call cowardice is genius-level strategy. Those titles that Miz has earned, that's because Miz knows when to fight and when to make the rules work in his favor. Well, if you ask me, The Miz is in for a fight in this one. Perched up top, diving knee drop, and here's a cover. his shoulder up before the two count. I didn't think this match was close to over. Blackjack! We've come to expect outright cowardice from the Miz in his matches. Do you think we'll see him running around the ring with his tail between his legs tonight? Honestly, Cole, I am astonished that you describe Miz's incredible ring awareness like that. Miz is a master of knowing when it's time to fight and when it's time to make a tactical retreat. And yes, I fully expect to see him use those skills tonight. The old adage fits the A-lister to a T. Fight smarter, not harder. Oh, look at this. Just crank in the head. That's got to hurt. Crank in the head. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Punk from up high. No, 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 no. Move that out of the way. Oh, my God. Oh, the backbreaker. Right to the spine. Miz counters with an attack. Beautiful, float over neck breaker. Picture perfect. And CM Punk is leaving no breathing room here. Smothering offense from Punk here. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Stomp to the body and followed up by another to the chest. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oof, running knee in the corner. Trying to work the arm. Now in control. Ooh, and a shot to the body and another. Right, here we go. Inverted DDT. Lights out. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. There's no denying the awesome in-ring abilities of The Miz. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. From the top, diving double axe handle. His shoulders are down. Oh, somehow. A truly impressive kick out this late. 
Miss from behind, hook. Score! Crushing finale! Well, that sold us up for Miss. Two! He manages to kick out. What strength! You can't forget how defiant Punk is. You might throw your best at him, but they're going head to head, putting each other to the test. Oh. The fight is on, and it's furious. Nothing pretty here, just good old fashioned fisticuffs. WWE Universe appreciating these athletes going all around. Boom! Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Boom! Fist after fist, neither one relenting here. Exchange right there. Springboard, springboard, clothesline. And the cover for the win. This is it. Oh, and a kick out. This match is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. We are seeing the will to win from these men, not an ounce of quit in them. The struggle to gain power has switched hands and Punk from up high. Dropping the elbow. Boom. Punk has that look. Gonna try to end it. Punk looking for GTS. Go to see. The Miz just got destroyed. The Miz walks away the loser tonight. The best in the world proving he deserves that name. The crowd is singing for Seth freaking Rollins. The best dressed man in WWE and a pretty darn good conductor, too. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds. He is the World Heavyweight Champion, Seth freaking Rollins! A decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse, and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. The visionary hauls so much drip, the water level rises wherever he goes. But here's the thing, that's all a part of his mind games. If the opposition is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. We're in for a brawl with Kevin Owens tonight. With KO, it's a brawl every night. And his opponent from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Owens has actually lightened up a bit, has formed a few friendships in WWE. Yeah, but you have to believe those are temporary at best because fighting is all KO knows how to do. You gotta be aware of Rollins' main streak. It's ruthless and long. Rollins will do whatever it takes to win, and this superstar has got to have the same mindset.
Seth freaking Rollins set for one-on-one -on -one competition here tonight. An eclectic superstar, but also perhaps one of the most confident superstars in WWE. And whether you're singing his song or can't stand his face, you have to admit Seth has all the reason in the world to be as confident as he is. Seth freaking Rollins is the dictionary definition of a well-rounded competitor. Definitely hard to deny that, Corey. Rollins will say anything, but he can do everything. Yeah, but let's not ignore Kevin Owens. He has no regard or respect for just about anyone who steps in the ring against him. And he doesn't care that you're upset. KO doesn't care. He just wants to fight and dismantle his opponents. Absolutely bad intentions coming from Kevin Owens. Always. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Nasty kick to the face fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Three. Rollins goes behind for the schoolboy. Oh, super kick! Vicious right forearm. Enable to counter. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Seth Rollins' mission tonight is to decimate Kevin Owens. Winning the match may actually be secondary to Rollins at this point. That eagerness to attack is something I welcome from Rollins. However, he needs to know when victory's at hand because if he goes too far, he'll make a mistake and Owens will be sure to capitalize. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Kicks directly to the chest. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Now, oh, look at this now. Uh-oh. Oh, bridging package power bomb. Legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Elbow puts an end to that. Gets inside the ring. Oh man, he is fired up now. We're all setting up here. Boom! Small package driver. There's two. You have to think this guy starting to weigh down on him. Single leg drop kick caught him. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, and there was no questioning Seth's motives after that move. Picture perfect drop kick. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Seth Rollins' arrogance on foot. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Uh-oh. Stop! Seth's eyes look glazed over. Two count, and they're still in this. Seth freaking Rollins with a close freaking call. I don't know how he survived that. A limit, Owens, realizing he's going to have to do even more to finish this. And knowing the lengths he will go to win, that could mean something very dangerous. Stating kick. Oh, connects on the kick. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. He's heading back to the ring. What a knockout punch. Oh, man. Here we go. It's popping off. Just teeing off with that fight forever vibe. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Five and five. Never saw it coming. Launching himself in the ropes. Looking for the victory. There's two. No, stops the count at two. Obviously still has some fight left. 
Up on the turnbuckle now. Rollins carefully placing his opponent on the top turnbuckle. Rollins now joining him. Here it comes. Superplex. Rollins rolls through. Falcon arrow. Is it enough? The cover. Digging deep for a kick out. How? How? Put into the corner now. Impressive reversal on Rollins. Look at this. Snap suplex. Ooh. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Seth Rollins not looking so good here. Dangerous times for the architect. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Yeah, all the architect's designs seem to be going astray. Got to figure out a new plan quick. From the top. Continue to fight like that, and Owens could be doing all the talking he wants. Action speaking much louder than words there. Whoa. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Exhausted. Put everything into the match here tonight, and oh, look who's here. But there is no time to rest. You can feel the tensions rising. <laughs> 